Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Legacy. We are continuing on where we left off last episode, which was us failing miserably in the Maya. Um, horribly. Horribly, horribly. By, by failing. Um, but, uh, we will be choosing Lady Blair the second, I believe, out of these three. Simply because, well, Barbarian Queen and, I don't know, Bold and Gay. I don't know. Uh, we didn't really get much gold, it looks like, but uh, we should have enough to upgrade maybe one, potentially two things. Um, I would like to upgrade our attack, really. Um, but we could also upgrade our crit chance. Um, hmm. Oh, by the way, the whole uh, Shinobi and Hokage thing is a uh, obvious reference to Naruto and a lot of the other styled anime slash cartoons uh, in that regard, but Hokage is uh, definitely Naruto specific. I don't think the Hokage term actually shows up in every anything else. Does it? If it does, let me know down in the comments below. I don't think it does. Uh, I'm thinking... Uh, thinking... Ah, crit damage up. Okay. That was an interesting tree growth, by the way. Being a massive potential. Let's unlock him. Why not? Uh, the Lich. Masters of life and death. The Lich has mammoth potential. Every kill grants the Lich permanent health to a cap, making them truly dangerous beings. Huh? Uh, then we can upgrade our Lich. Realize all your all-powerful Liches and turn them into Lich Kings. Press X to convert max HP into max MP. Ah. Alright, we got 277 gold left. We can just go ahead and continue now. Uh, we'll be heading on over to the forest in this episode, like I said at the end of last. Uh, to potentially unlock a few things and uh, get some more gold and whatnot. This is an interesting room design that I don't think we've seen before. Come on. Alright. Um, I would like to go to the right actually. Since that is where the where should be the forest. Assuming, you know, drug line to it and shortest route pass and whatnot and what Okay, so to the right was not an option anymore. Interesting dead end up so. This place has a bit of promise. It looks like there is a way to the right. What do we got going on over here? More to the right. Okay, looks like we found the portal, and this will either lead us into the mayo or the forest. It is indeed the forest. <clears throat> so we found what we are looking for. Now we just gotta find chests and stuff to. Whoa! What the hell? Inner, second inner, outer. Okay. Ow. All that for gold, huh? Looks like I got through there without getting hit. Unlock here. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> ah, damn it. Got hit again in that room. That room is apparently the bane of me. 
Uh, of course I would get hit in that room. Again, on the way out. That would have worked out surprisingly well if I could actually have gotten back on the platform to stay safe. Is this another, uh, what is this? Journal entry number 16, really? Uh, what if years have passed since I first entered these walls? Is it true? Uh, it is true that I am becoming more proficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like an age has passed. I have even forgotten what my own kin look like. What if they think I have failed? What if none of my well, what if one of my brothers has beaten me to the cure? And what if I mistook them for the monster? So I'm going to assume the final boss is the prince himself. Just going off of what it sounds like from the um, from the, the the journals that we've read. Really? Stupid skeletal archer thing for me. Wow. Okay, so there is apparently a duration of how far you... Yeah, it's just the animation. Did I, I thought maybe if you held down and the down attack, it would actually stay. Because uh, before I would just press the button to it. Uh, nope. That is not the case. Ah. Wait, how did that break? I didn't know they could break on their own. I thought they only broke when they went out inside the doorway. That's weird. I am ever so slightly confused on that, but okay. Gold. All right. Ow, plant. Kill the things. Okay, now we can actually get the chest in peace. And did I just get 150 gold from that tree something? That's a lot of gold for a tree something. up here since we cannot take no damage do we try it nope I failed that does seem doable um, my current status I just gotta I just gotta get used to do dodging that particular setup that is an interesting very just challenge is, are we done with the forest now we gotta go left, up, right, up. Okay. Um. Oh, there's also an option to the far right there. Let's go to the far right one. I didn't think we had gone through the entire forest. Eh? It's kind of weird. Those ten H ten ten MP. Kill the red skeleton because they are not a threat. This guy is a threat. Ow. Whoa. That was a tricky earth zor. Ah. Flame lock. Blade slot. Flame lock is previous here. Hello, Blocky. Oh, 
Dang, I'm taking so much damage. Stop taking so much damage to me. Either kill the things or dodge the things. Better. Avoid the slime trying to hop on your head. I don't, I don't even know why I tried killing him. I shouldn't have bothered. Ah, I took damage from him. Like an idiot. I believe in uh, Spelunky, I called it stupid damage. Um, that'd be more stupid damage. And stupid damage is bad, it's uh, how you fail in this type of game. Alright, so we've gone all the way to the right that we possibly can. Um, that was took more damage because that went off and I actually forgot about them completely. Uh, we do have 3.6k gold though. Which is nice. Paranoid about getting hit in there. Uh, down? Sure, why not? Oh. Really? Forty-five gold from that earth is all. So. Bane of existence. Drop, kill, dead, good. Who are you? Worgen for organ. You are Worgen for organ. Walker for Logan is dead. No! Can I not... Can, can I really not get this fairy chest? Hmm. Thought maybe I could boost myself off the spike up there. Do I need triple jump for that? Really? I don't have triple jump. I need, I need another jump room to get up there. That or I'm doing something incredibly wrong. Here's a forest boss room. And this room doesn't really offer anything, but it does offer some gold uh, potential for these guys. And if I didn't get hit, it would have been a bit of a health boost as well. I love a guy in the background that's just floating. No fighting. So you can get hit, you just can't fight. But now I can. This is for- Ow. This is for attacking me. Ah. Ah. That room. That room's dangerous. Oh, come on. That room's very dangerous. I wanted to go over here to the teleporter. So I can go- to that one. I did leave health here, right? No, I did not. Damn. Alright, so that is everything in the forest, I believe. Yes, it is. And there's that one chest. Well, there's actually three chests in there I can't get. Uh, the one being the gold, then two fairy chests. Uh, but we can take a look at Castle Hammond here. Um, and see maybe if there's something here of interest somewhere. Uh, maybe more potential health or gold. If I didn't know better, I just went back into the exact same room that I was just in. Uh, the Principal's Journal, a journal entry number 17. We're actually getting quite a few of these journals. I uh, must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival inside this castle, complete with a sad clown and everything. Sort of an ass. Well, I guess you can't be picking with your friends on voice like this. I'm getting hungry again. Good thing I topped up on chicken legs. I found these in the chandelier. This castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's all just a big joke. It's just a big joke.
want. What? I don't... I don't understand that room at all. Galatian? That's the first time I've seen you before. Oh, that I recall. It was an interesting mini boss. Super Bob, if you were. Uh, is there anything over here? Yeah, there's a doorway. A doorway that leads to a hallway for torches to the other doorway, which contains a portal. Presumably, going up above is the Maya. It is indeed. Oh, come on. Should not have been able to do that. Ow. Okay, so this chest is actually real, according to the map. Uh, no other chests are in this room that I care about. So let's get out of there. Uh, is there any more to the castle we need to explore? There is. If we take this portal down to this one, which is literally just a room below us and is the starting room. To the right here, and then up and over, and then down, we'll meet into a new room. A crossroad of sorts. Uh, defeat all enemies. How do you suggest I do that, game? How do you suggest I do that? Scythe, maybe? Doesn't the scythe uh, bounce off the wall, though? Yes, yes I will. What do we get? Alexander's opal. Don't know what the opal does for Alexander. I guess we'll uh, find out when we die again, right? Yeah, we actually were surprisingly cutting it close with our HP. Hmm. Okay, and this will lead down into the darkness. So we can get some gold and whatnot. Uh, I'm this room now. And apparently this over here also leads to it. Uh, let me just take a quick peek over here. The music for this area is interesting. These enemies almost seem easier to defeat than the ones in the Maya. Whoa. Yeah, why 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 do these enemies seem a bit easier to defeat than the ones in the Maya? That's a large slime. All right, I'm done uh, peeking my head in here. Oh, come on, I jumped. I jumped. I called shenanigans on that. Should not have been hit. To the right we go. With our 50, with our 41 HP. That's a lot of HP I just recovered. Granted, that's only about one hit in any reasonable area like this. So we're going to get out of there after having... Wait a minute. There's a chest here. 
Uh, suffer room for the cape. Oh. Hidden very chest. Uh, alright. We have a place to the right here. There we go. So many candelabras. Oh, reach me in time. Reach me in time. No! 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 I wish I would get like an extra second to actually react to the fact that it says reach me in time. Uh, we might actually lock down the castle next episode because uh, this episode is actually going on pretty long. And I don't know how I just pulled that off. Um, yeah, because of how long this episode is going on, I'm actually going to kind of kill myself, but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm kind of tired of this playthrough with Barbarian Queen, so... Let's see what we can do down here, shall we? Ow! Okay! Third row of equipment usually has major trade-offs. Indeed. Indeed they do. Um... Alright. Well, that's the end of that run. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh... Episode. Um... <laughs> that Baron. That, that Grey Baron. He, uh, definitely has a large arc of a swing, doesn't he? Um, I'll have to keep that in mind for the future, but, uh, until the next time, guys, take it easy.